don't have to. Today I would like to talk about the DS1 on the RS3 and some of the features that you can control with the cruise control stock. Now there's two main features. One is map switching and the other is gauge switching your display. So first of all, it's important to understand the cruise control stock because I was a little confused by this at first. There's a few different positions. So all the way forward is off. Then you pull back, that's on, and then there's a momentary forward, which is cancel. Now, when you are doing map switching, if you're already on, so let's go on. If you're already just on, like usually when I'm just driving the car around, it's always on, and you hold forward into cancel, you're check engine light flashes and this is your map switching zero one and if i had more it could go up further but kyle from srm is just giving us two maps to try out right now while we're dialing in boost so i go to map one as directed by him and both of those maps are flex fuel for us because we are running an ethanol content sensor now to switch between gauges what you do is go off on and momentary within two seconds of going on and that will enter gauge switching. It's really important to, to know when you're switching maps versus switching gauges, because you don't want to accidentally switch maps uh, when you're meaning to switch gauges. So we're gonna go off, on, off right away. And we're on zero, which is ethanol content and, um, and boost in bar. And then the others to switch up and down is with your speed control here. So we'll go off, on, we'll go to one. One is your regular power and torque, just like OEM. Two is charge temp on the left and your map, your boost again on the right, which is in bar. So we've got 25 degrees C for our charge temp and 0.4 bar basically. Um, charge temp, three is lambda and knock. So we're at one lambda basically. It's lambda percentage. Well, no, it's just straight up lambda. <clears throat> and then four is fuel pressure. So uh, six bar on the low pressure and then um, five megapascals, right? It's MPA and bar. So I like watching my fuel and knock. Boost is kind of nice to know. So there you go. The least concise explanation. One more thing that I forgot to mention is rolling anti-lag is engaged by holding the cruise control down. Your check engine light comes on. Builds boost. You hold the cruise control stock down and then you go full, full throttle. Builds boost, pulls timing, let go of the cru cruise control stock and you'll zoom away really fast. It's good fun. We like good fun.